Hey folks, let's take a look at how to make an odometer in After Effects. There we go. Whee. Let's start with a grid. So I'll do a new composition. I'll call this grid. Make it 1920 by 1080. Okay. I'm going to make a new solid. Okay, that's good. Let's have a gold grid. Type in gold grid. Okay. I'm going to find my grid effect. There it is. I'm going to change my blending mode to add. I'm going to change size from width and height sliders. Because then if the width is 192, that's 1 10th of 1920. So we've got a nice division of 10. And the height, the previous one, I think I had it at about uh, 118, something like that. Looks pretty good. Okay, so now I want the center to be in between these lines. So if I move the anchor point, let's say I think we had a 602 on the previous one. That looks nicely centered. Okay, and that is that for now. Let's do a new composition and I'll call this wheel. And I'm going to drop in my grid. And then use my rectangle tool to mask out my grid. In fact, just going to go back to my grid. I'm going to make the border. Let's make that twice as big. Let's make that 10. Chunkier grid. That's nice. Okay, so I'm now going to mask this out. I'll turn on the transparency so I can see a little better. Okay, I just need to bring that down slightly. Looks all right. Okay, and on this, I need some numbers. Okay, so let's just stretch that out. Okay, so I'm going to type in, I'm going to start at six, six, seven, eight. Nine zero one two three four five. Okay, and I've got the text size about right from the previous one I made, but you know you just need to play about with the tracking and the size to get them to fit in the boxes. And then I'm going to open up this layer, open up the animate menu, and choose rotation. I rotate these by ninety degrees, and then just pop those in the middle there. Okay, so let's now do a new composition. I'm going to call this odometer. Okay, I'm going to drag in my wheel. Now I'm going to add to this the effect CC sphere. CC sphere. Nope, sorry, wrong one. CC cylinder. Okay, my shape is mixed up. There we go. CC cylinder. And I'm going to open the rotation value and make the rotation on the Z minus 90. Okay, so now I can animate the Y rotation to move the cylinder. But rather than do that, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to go back to here, just slightly trimming this mask. There we go, that's better. Okay, I'm going to use a slider. So I want three of these odometers, so I'm going to click Command D, so I've got two more layers. And I want to move these across. Now if I move them just with the layer, they go out of uh, shape, the shape goes all wrong. So what I'm going to do is move them from the position of the effect. So I'll do the X. And that one. And on this one, again, I can do the X the other way. That's about right. So this top one, that's our middle middle this one is our right 
and this one is our left okay and uh, I'll put that on top just to make it a bit more obvious all right so middle left and right so I'm going to create a new null object here and onto this null object put three sliders slider one two three and I'll also name these middle left and right So what I'm now going to do is select, let's go for our middle layer. I'm going to open the rotation, alt click on the Y stopwatch for rotation, and then click on my null object layer and connect the pick whip to the middle slider. So that's now controlled by the slider. If I move the slider, the wheel moves. Okay, but what I want is the wheel to move. If I type in five, I want to get a five. Okay, so what I need to do is a little bit of math. So if I want five, it needs to be at 180. So that's times 36, five times 36, 180. So on this uh, expression, I'm going to put times 36. Type it correctly. Times 36, always do that. So now if I type in 5, it moves around to the number 5, which is here. And I want this to be, well, not quite so far. So if I just do minus 20, that should pull it back up. Or maybe it's a plus. Let's just... No, that's right. Minus 20. I've just taken 20 off that rotation. So I've got a 5 in the middle. So now if I type in any number, 8, I get an 8. Two, got two. Great, I can just type in numbers and keyframe them to animate the odometer. So all I now need to do is do the same with this. I can take my position Y. Okay, I can alt click on that. I can pick whip that to my left slider. I can add the same. Okay, times 36 minus 20. All right, now I can animate this one, four. Oh, I've done a bad thing. I picked the position, okay, not the rotation. My bad, there we go, position. So I need to tick that to the slider. Now it will work, times 36, minus 20. Type in a value, let's do six. Okay, yeah, great, it's working. Last one, right one. I can alt click here on, on the Y, not position, on rotation. There we go. Go to my sliders, connect that to the right slider. I can now type in times 36 minus 20. And now I can just use this null object layer. I can add some keyframes. So let's start with our, our left. I can go from keyframe that. Let's type in a value. Let's go from six to six to nine. So we're now going from six to nine. And I can just carry on with that, keyframing the other sliders. Okay, to animate the odometer, and we've got it nicely set up, so it's nice and easy to animate. So, uh, nice little lesson there, and uh, thanks for watching. Cheers!